Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Wen and I'm the illustrator on The Underfoot and today I'm going to show you how I draw hamsters. All right, so first we're going to start with a circle because I'm sure many of you have seen a hamster before. It's pretty chonky, so we're actually going to be using a lot of circles in our drawing for hamsters today. So just keep that in mind. All right, great big circle for the head. Then another circle for their mouth. And then we're going to do kind of a heavier weighted circle with an oval for their cheeks. So hamsters like to keep food in their cheeks, like seeds and nuts. So just keep that in mind. We need to give them lots and lots of room, probably more room than that, to hide all that food. And then for their ears, uh, unlike rats and mice, they have kind of small ears. So usually what I do is I do little circles near the top of the head and then a little line to connect them like that. And then usually give them a little tuft of hair. And then more circles for their eyes. Right now, the drawing that you're seeing is kind of the, the sketch area. So if you're, if you're drawing traditionally, think of it as drawing with a pencil. And then I'm going to move on to a darker color once I like where the drawing has progressed. For my hamsters, I like to give them little heart-shaped noses. And of course, they got those great big chubby mouths. And my favorite part about a hamster, great big, wide, long buck tooth. And a chin at the bottom. This hamster is going to be looking up a little bit, kind of mischievously. All right. So that's my sketch of the hamster. Very quickly, going to add in some whiskers. All right, now we're going to move on to a darker color. Now you can think of this as um, adding inks to a drawing. So, like if you're drawing with a pen over pencil, gonna draw on the eyes Very quickly. And then the nose, the heart shape, get that smile in there. Favorite part, buck teeth. And we're gonna draw their head in and their ears. Little fuzzy ears. And those big heavy cheeks where they're hiding all their food. And that's it. That's how I draw a really quick hamster. Now, when you're drawing your hamster, you can make them as uh, small or chubby as you want. You can give them spots. So like this guy, if you wanted to give him some spots, maybe some regular spots, you could give him a stripe. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe like a tiger stripe. Or you could give him a lightning bolt. Oh my gosh right down the forehead. That's pretty cool too. Now you can do whatever you want with your hamster. Just have fun with them. And I'd love to see all your drawings later on. And that's about it. Again, my name is Michelle Wynn, and that's how you draw a quick hamster from the book The Underfoot.